So one thing I've been noticing a lot of people talk about here on YouTube and various social media platforms is the fact that a lot of the um, revenues, uh, I should say avenues for revenue, I should say, like fan supported, you know, revenue. A lot of those avenues are changing. A lot of those platforms like Patreon, OnlyFans, and then by extension, places like here on YouTube, you know, and even Daily Motion and Vimo and, you know, by extension as well, Facebook and Twitter, or X as it's known now, you know, they're all constantly changing. They're all constantly changing. Even India Gogo, in a way, has changed um, to an extent, you know. But why is that? Why is all these platforms changing? What's with all the changes that affect, you know, let's say here on YouTube, uh, your analytics, like, you know, your revenue, your, your subscriber count, your view count and all that. What's going on? You know, what's going on over Patreon is causing you to see a delay in your payment and it's causing people to consider going to other platforms like Reb3, you know, only one, you know, what's going on? And I think, honestly, in my opinion, I think what's happening is you're seeing the effects of all these past culture movements in the past several years. From woke to SJW to cancel, you're seeing a lot of their, you know, effects, really, a lot of their influence, I should say, affecting these platforms. Even though these cultures themselves are slowly dying out, finally, you know, and I'm sure, pretty sure a lot of people are thankful for that. You know, even though these cultures are slowly dying out, which again, I, like I said, I'm pretty sure some people are very happy about, you know, the, the influence is still felt. The influence is still felt even, even to this day. And because of that influence, you're going to see a lot of these platforms where you get fan, you know, support, you know, revenue wise, like let's say Patreon and OnlyFans. You're starting to see these platforms changing their policies and not because they suddenly decided overnight, hey, let's try this, let's do that. No, they're doing it because somebody in their, somebody in their organization, somebody in their company that's, in, that's put into a position of power of some kind that can have influence over this probably has a connection or is part of one of those cultures, if not all three. You know, same with, you know, OnlyFans. Somebody there, uh, you know, somebody there probably has connections or is part of one of these cultures, if not all three of them, and thus they're able to influence any decisions that are made. You know, same here on YouTube, same on Daily Motion, Twitch, to an extent Facebook and Twitter, or X, if you will. There are people in positions of power in all these places and all these subsidiaries divisions and all that that you know have an influence that are part of these cultures that have an influence on what happens so by having that influence it affects you know how things you know are done around uh, are done you know and utilized with these platforms now true platforms like let's say youtube have retract some of their decisions because they know you know, they know and they've seen and heard that certain content creators will be like, you know what, YouTube, we don't want to be part of you anymore. We're going to go over to BitChute and we're going to help, help it grow and become the new YouTube. You think Google wants that to happen? No. No, they don't. They don't want people to go to BitChute. They don't want them to go to a new up-and-coming platform that's, you know, reminiscing of the early days of YouTube and help it grow into the next mega you know, uploading site that's probably bigger than, you know, the YT. They don't want that. Even though it might take a long while, they, they know, they don't, I mean, what I'm trying to say is even though it might take a long while, they still don't want that because they know if some of the more inferential YouTubers go over to, let's say, a bit shoot or a new platform that's reminiscing of the YouTube of old, that that's not a good sign for them. You know, that that's just the beginning, you know, of YouTube you know, basically going downhill, and they don't want that. So what, is, what does YouTube do once they hear that? They retract, and that's what they've done. There have been some decisions recently that they've made to where people are like, okay, we'll see you, YouTube. We're going to go over to this place and, you know, be part of that place and make it grow. And it even involves some of the more inferential YouTubers. 
And you know what YouTube did? They said, oh, no, 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 no. YouTube and Google said, no, 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 you don't have to do that. In fact, we've changed our minds. We're going to retract that decision. And I guarantee you the people that are part of, the, uh, part of those cultures that I, talk, t- that I mentioned, you know, probably didn't like the idea that they were, those ideas that they had supported, that they had influenced upon YouTube and Google, were being retracted. But YouTube did it because they knew, basically, they were going to lose some very influential YouTubers. And they didn't want that to happen. You know, they didn't. You know, the same with, you know, various podcasting outlets. You know, you think, I mean, honestly, you think some of these podcasting outlets that are now associated with Spotify podcast, where you can hear a podcast like mine, B.W. Rose's discussions on their platforms outside of Spotify, you think they like the idea that various people were going to leave them? You know, unless they had, you know, you know, you know, unless, you know, they did something that would keep them around. Do you think they like that idea? No. So what did they do? They said, oh, we can't lose this influential podcaster. We can't lose that influential podcaster. I know. Let's do this. And they would do it. They would change things up to where they would be able to keep that content creator, that podcaster, because, hey, they've changed their minds on the decisions they were making, you know, at that time that would have caused them to lose those people. That's the truth. That's the truth, in my opinion. You know, and I can see possibly down the line Patreon and OnlyFans doing the same thing. I mean, OnlyFans is already doing it. There are some things they decided to take away that people are like, okay, OnlyFans, you don't want to keep that around? Guess what? We're leaving you and we'll go over to this place. Like, let's say Only One or Web3. So, what does OnlyFans do? Knowing that, hey, we're going to lose people like this to these groups and we don't want that. What do OnlyFans do? OnlyFans changed their minds and retracted their decisions and put back what they took away. And I can say the same is going to happen with Patreon. Patreon is going to notice a loss in content creators and, you know, uh, Patreoners, uh, Patreoner, Patreonizers, if you will, people that do, people that use Patreon, uh, you, know, finan- you know, to get financial support. They're going to notice people like that, even the biggest names, leaving them, you know, if they keep up, do- keep doing what they're doing. And I guarantee you, once they see the most influential Patre- Patreoners, if you will, you know, once they see some of the more influential Patreoners leaving the platforms, that's when they're going to be like, hey, whoa, guys, hold on. You don't have to leave. In fact, we've decided to change our minds. We're, we're going to put everything back. We're going to, we're going to be less restrictive, da, 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 da. That's what's going to happen. Patreon is going to follow suit, you know, in the same vein that in the, it's going to follow suit just in the same in the same way that YouTube went, in the same way that OnlyFans went, you know, in the same way Twitch has went. They're going to follow suit to where the decisions they make, they're going to retract. It's going to happen. And I think that's why, even though you see some people wanting to leave Patreon and start their own websites with Web3 behind them or other sites like it, this is why you still see them on board because they know Patreon is going to probably change their minds and be like, hey, we're retracting what we said. Here's, you know, here's everything that we were taking away back. Here you go. So obviously that's going to happen in the near future. It is. And, you know, honestly, honestly, you know what? Platforms like Patreon, you know, Twitch, YouTube, BitChute. Well, I wouldn't say BitChute, but basically the big, you know, social media uploading platforms out there from video to podcasting to, you know, financial support, you know, revenue wise. You know, I could see them retracting a lot of the state, a lot of the decisions they've made, you know, in the future more so than they already have. And you know what? They have no one to blame but themselves. They have no one to blame but themselves because they decided to listen to the influence that is put down upon them by certain cultures. And they know it. Again, this is why YouTube and some of the decisions they've made decided, oh, no, no, we'll, we'll retract that because they, start, they started to see some of the more influential YouTubers deciding to go over to BitChute, deciding to go over to Twitch. 
and all that. They didn't want to lose them, so they said, oh, no, 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 you can stay here, you stay here, we'll, we'll take back what we said. Patreon's going to do the same thing. And that's a fact. Twitch, they've made some dumb decisions. Guess what? They've retracted them because they don't want to lose people to YouTube. They said, oh, no, 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 we should retract that. Okay, that's taken away. We're, we're going back to the old ways that you like. You could stay. You see, you know, you see, they, they, they don't, you see, it's all about not losing traction and not wanting to have to admit, okay, maybe we do need to keep things as they once were. You know, so to me, I see a lot of these changes that have been made and are going to be made, and all, you know, and all that by these, you know, overall social media platforms. I see a lot of them being retracted, you know, in the near future because none of them want to lose business. None of them want to lose their supporters, their content creators, the people that utilize them to make money. They don't want to lose them. You know, they don't want to lose them. They want to keep them. They do. They want to keep them. So to me, in my honest, to, so to me, in all honesty, in all honesty, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I could see whatever decisions Patreon is making right now that's upsetting people, they're going to retract them. Whatever decisions Twitch is making right now, they're going to retract them. Whatever decisions YouTube and Google are making right now, they're going to retract them. You know, and so on and so forth. Whatever decisions Elon Musk and Twitter X is making right now, it's going to get retracted. Facebook is making right now, Mark Zuckerberg, you know, and Facebook is making right now, it's going to get retracted. And why? Because they do not want to lose anybody. They don't. You know, OnlyFans, you know, they've retracted some of their decisions and they're going to retract them even more so in the future. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. So to me, you know, so to me, you know, I see these being retracted, you know, and it's, it, but it'll be in time and it'll be a lot sooner than I think a lot of people expect because none of these platforms that, let's be honest, they do compete with each other, don't want to lose somebody to somebody else, to the competition. But yeah, the decisions they're making, it's, you know, the, oh, they have made and are making, they're not some of the best decisions, and over time, they, you know, and over time, these decisions that they have made, are making, and are considering making, I guarantee will be retracted. They will be. But let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Comment down below, live chat during the premiere, like the video, and until then, I'll talk to y'all later.